Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to need a new composition. So we're going to hit new composition, 1920 by 1920. I'll just make the background white. And 15 seconds, 60 FPS, that good stuff. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off with just 17. Make the text black. This is tutorial 17, so we'll use that. I'm just going to turn the letter. And I'm going to zoom in a bit, hit Y, grab that, and just snap that to there. Make sure you've got snapping on. And I'm just going to align that to the very bottom left. Uh, a line is right there if you can't see it. Okay, and I'm just going to increase the point size like that, and then scale this up to about there. I can bring this in now, and hit Y, and just snap that to that point there and then scale it up again. Okay, now I just want to snap that to the center. So I'm going to add, actually I'm going to hit P, set the position, go to one second, and just drag that there. And then I'm going to pull this back. So I'm going to go new, sorry, I'm going to go right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Remember to go edit speed, speed graph and just pull these in. Like so, brilliant. I'm gonna go to one second 30, actually one second 10, and then two seconds 10, and just drag it along like so. See how that looks. Okay, just gonna reset that. Right click, easy ease, select everything, and just pull it in like so. Okay, let's see how that looks. Nice. Okay, that's our first composition. We'd call that 17. Going to make a new composition and drop that in. I'm going to add a solid, so right click, new solid. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1920. And I'm going to add a gradient ramp. I'm going to click the start of ramp in black and just put it there. And then this one about there. Okay, I'm going to add a mosaic. And I'm going to make this 12. 12. Okay, I'm gonna call this displacement. I haven't spelled that right, but well, uh, new solid. Sorry, right click, new adjustment layer. And we're gonna add a time displacement. We're gonna whack that on the adjustment layer and apply the displacement map to it. And remember to select effects and masks. Gonna hide that displacement map and then pull this back to about one second or just basically until you can't actually see it. Something like that will be good, I think. Something like that. Okay, play it. So we're getting this really interesting pattern occurring. Um, I think the displacement's probably a bit too much, so we can come up and in the max displacement and just tweak this until we see something that we like. So something like that maybe. Yeah, there we are, nice. Okay, so let's add some motion blur to that. To come in here and just give it some motion blur as well. See how that looks in there. That might not actually be what we're looking for, but see. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Okay, so we're just gonna play that out and let it bake. Okay, so we're gonna make a new composition. We're gonna go 1920 by 2700. That's gonna give you kind of an A4 style composition or just dimension and we're going to chuck in that 17 or is it this one yeah it's this one so we're going to call this poster and we're going to drop this one in okay and we're going to want to select this here on all of these and just come out of that and then we can just snap that to the top and sorry we don't want that there and we're just going to do that and i'm going to add a rectangle and just make it roughly about the size like that select the composition and just snap that to the center of that rectangle wherever that is okay and what's going on here i think we can probably just remove all of that we don't need that boom okay let's scale it down ever so slightly to something like that so what we can do now is duplicate and then offset it so one second ten we're going to bring in the next composition like so and then again after three seconds 10 we're going to bring that next composition in no sorry 
two seconds, 10. We're gonna bring that next composition in and we can kind of fine tune this to something that we like. There's no right or wrong answers here. Okay, so at these endpoints, we're gonna drag this in. So as soon as we get a perfect 17, we want to pull that in. So we have our first and then our second and then our third. So we're gonna drag that to there and then drag this to about there. We should get this kind of looping animation like so. So what we can do is we can slow all of these down as well maybe. So we're gonna pre-compose this. So I'm just doing alt and then square bracket and then the corresponding side. So we can drag this to the end of the timeline or the start of the timeline and we can pre-compose it. So we have this and we can go about, we can slow it down to about 200%. So if you don't know how to get this, your columns stretch, and that should bring that out and we can play it at half speed. And we're just going to let this bake out. So we have our uh, looping poster now. We can now kind of drop in some typographic detailing to elevate the poster design. So I'm going to type out my name, set a smaller point size, something like 72. Um, just adjust the tracking, turn the tracking to zero or something like minus 10. And yeah, just making a new line, calling this tutorial 17. Just adjust that leading bring that into something a bit nicer something like something like that and we can just drop that in there maybe somewhere like there maybe you can obviously design this in a software like illustrator and kind of create a style frame and then bring that the typographic layer into after effects but just for the tutorial i'm just doing it here and i think that there's there's benefits of doing it this way as well so yeah just playing with composition just creating some kind of random copy Gonna divide the point size by two and then just snap that to the x height or the cap height of this here so just bringing it along and i'll position it here okay Let's see what that looks like so there's a massive gap here i'm thinking what what can i what can i do with this so i wonder if i can duplicate this and just bring it down to something like there and maybe mask it as well. Just really experimenting with different different options. Maybe something like this, see what that looks like. It's kind of interesting. So I'm just gonna line these end frames up a bit better. So just aligning these edges to create something kind of interesting. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this line and bring it down as well, something like that. And then in the bottom, I'm just gonna, gonna duplicate this layer and bring it down and just say 17 and bring this in a bit. Yeah, just shift clicking that. So I can also use this edge here as a margin and just use this as a visual guide to bring all of this in. Okay, so that's that's our first poster. Interesting. Let's let's continue using this 17. So I'm gonna make a new composition 1920 by 1920. I'm gonna bring in this 17 again, seeing what that looks like. Um, duplicate it and see what this looks like. Just thinking about how I can get this into a square composition and make it interesting. Okay, so we're, we're gonna make a new letter and I'm just gonna do a seven this time. Scale it up, lock it in on that corner, hit V, pull it out like so. Just snap it to the top as best you can. And I'm going to center it and then bring it, set the anchor point to the center of the composition and then just bring it in so it's got a bit of a margin. Okay, I'm going to hit P, position, snap that to one second and then again just sliding it in and then sliding it out. Just giving that some easy ease, so keyframe assistant, easy ease, going into the graph editor and just pulling these points in to give it a bit more contrast and movement nice okay so i'm gonna make a new composition 1920 by 1920 and is it this one this one okay so composition two i'm gonna scale this and divide it by six align it to the top right i'm gonna add a repertile 
and I'm going to go 1920 times 6, which is going to give us a repeating width. And I'm going to do that down as well. So now we have this grid of points. And I'm going to add that a displacement map and adjustment layer that we had previously. And I'm going to bring it into this composition and see what it looks like. So just attaching it to the right displacement map and then just seeing how this plays so i probably could scale this down it doesn't need to be 1920 because we're scaling it by six so i'm gonna add a new null object and just parent it and i'm gonna scale this and I'm gonna divide it by six and then in the composition settings i'm gonna divide that by six so we should have the exact same composition it's just now you know a bit smaller so I can now bring this to 100% and I can just do 1920 by 1920 and now I'm just seeing how this plays. So we can probably put this to 0.5 seconds and here we can go 24 by 24 and just seeing how this plays now we'll let this bake out. So I think the adjustment layer could be a bit yeah that's nice i'm just pulling this out so we don't see anything let's see how that plays okay so i'm not a fan of how i think there could be a bit more displacement or a bit more spread on that displacement so just playing with how that feels where you get kind of optimum spread i think it's about there so obviously it's in two directions as well so it's going to create a different kind of feeling i think that's nice so I'm going to duplicate this poster and I'm going to delete all of these. So we have a blank poster and then just bringing this poster in. See how that looks. Nice. Brilliant. What does it look like if we overlay those two posters as well? So I'm going to drop this poster in as well. Crazy. So yeah, you know, you can kind of see how this can, can be applied in multiple different ways. Obviously, this is just one treatment, but you know, you can use this with video. So we'll quickly do one with video and... Yeah, I'll do a couple more and then we can kind of go over some some designs. So here I've made six different typographic posters, kind of geometric stuff as well, all using the same process of time displacement with a mosaic displacement tile, so each module. So yeah, they all follow the same process of marrying up the repertile function with the mosaic function and then time displacing this. So, you know, you have your gridded footage, you then marry that up with the time displacement and the mosaic, and you get these kind of effects that are really easy to achieve. So yeah, here's just some very basic examples I tried. I'd be excited to see what you guys do with this. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.